being a change agent is not always the easy thing. So along with successes, you will always fail failures. So under such those tough situations, we tend to give up. So but it's all about how we react to the external circumstances. We may not be able to control those external circumstances, but what actually is in our control is our reaction towards them, is our response towards those external circumstances. So I have learned this during my first D challenge workshop. So during that time, there were so many people interested in the workshop. So we had to divide ourselves into a smaller groups of three teams, so, there, so that we could accommodate 72 people. So we had made all the prototype materials ready with the help of our local friends. So we got three different projectors, LCD projectors and all. And we have also got the speakers, everything was right. So we, a lot of preparations went in for that workshop and all. So the D-Day came, 4 o'clock the workshop was supposed to start. At 3.30 p.m. we have lost access to the space. We found that one of our rooms was reserved for some other workshop. We didn't know what to do because the participants started coming and we can't tell them to go back, right? So instead of blaming on other people, blaming each other, what we did is, uh, so we went to each and every classroom in the campus and we tried to find out some alternative. So we finally managed to find some room, but the room was not perfect, right? Uh, there were some technical issues, the internet was uh, kind of slow and the projector was not uh, proper. So, but uh, in spite of all those challenges, we still went ahead with the workshop. So after the workshop, during the debrief, we have learned two most important things. The first thing is, when you find some tough situations, challenging situations, instead of just blaming each other, talking too much, just stop talking and start working. You'll find something, that may not be a perfect thing, but start working. And the second most important thing we learned that day was the importance of having an alternate plan. Because we may never know that your when your plan fails. So, for the second D challenge workshop, instead of booking one room per one workshop, I had booked two rooms. So, many people came to me and they told, why are you simply wasting your time and energy on booking some other room? I told them, just wait, you'll understand. So, you know what, one day prior to the workshop, again, once again, we have lost access to the space. And that's when they came to me. But since I have, we had an alternate room arranged, that went on well. So in the two cases, we did not have control over the external circumstances. We sometimes, most of the times, we do not have control over them. But we did not let that external circumstance define our success. So. Do not change your perspective of external circumstances. Instead of thinking them as obstacles in your way, think of them as an opportunities for you to become better change agents. So from then on, we were, we were gaining a lot of confidence and trust from faculty members because we were so resilient that we did not give up at any point of time. And even if something goes wrong, we always have an alternate plan. So I'd like to leave all with one question. So how might we develop positive attitude towards the external circumstances. Thank you.